My name is King Infinity, and this is the time I got caught with someone else's girl. We do it for us. Yo, imagine being homophobic. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to another episode of the We Do It For Us podcast, where everybody has a story. It's your boy, Joe Mofet. It's your boy, D-Infinite. If you're tuning in right now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on all your post notifications, man. Yo, Joe, man. I think your boy got a crazy story today, man. Bro, this man has been chugging that Celsius for the longest. Yeah, I, I, I think he hyped up. That I shit think fire. That, that, shit, that shit fire? Yeah, that shit fire. I don't joint through my veins, bro. You know what else is coursing through your veins? What? The revenge of that nigga, bro. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hell no. Bro, it's a good day today. It is a good day. Very good day. Tell us about got it. Got a fresh cut. Mm-hmm. Fresh braids. Oh, Ooh, for us? My nigga. For y'all, man. Yeah. Uh, ah! The bros. Ah! The bros when you get a fresh cut and put on cologne for the bros. Don't add the cologne no. part. Don't, no. add the cologne no. part. Don't add the cologne part. Don't add the cologne part. Forget it. Dude, what you trying to smell me for, bro? Like, what, what's up with you? The only Dude. thing I want to smell is some pussy. Well, look. You know what's crazy? I, I, I went and got my hair done and a haircut to go on a date with her, too, bro. Damn. How did it end out that day? Look. We're going to get into the story, but I got a bone to pick with you, bro. What's that, bro? In one of your stories, you talking, you was talking about you can't get picked up and, and, and killed at the end of the night. If you, if you missed the episode, it's right here. Click right here. But you said you can't get picked up, go on a date, and close. Nigga, I got picked up. You're in the minority with that. That's all I'm going to say. I'll just, take that. I'll just take say, that. Just say you the pussy, man. I guess <laughs> I guess go ahead. I guess he's him. He's him. He's him, Duncan. <laughs> Timothy Jones. <laughs> FCG him. <laughs> Y'all niggas is actually funny today. <laughs> hey, man. But look, this is how the story started out, bro. So I was on Instagram one day, and, you know, I, my homeboy, shout out Poppy Steez. That's, that's the only name I'm shouting out in this, in this, uh, in this story. Shout out my homeboy. So... His girl went out. I was on her story, and I seen another girl on her story. Mm. I looked at, I looked at the page. I was like, "Oh, she looked kind of good." I swipe out, forget about it. A couple minutes later, not a couple minutes, a couple hours later, or was it minutes? It probably was minutes. A couple, damn, that stuff is just coursing through my veins, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that boy said minutes, hours, time is irrelevant. Look, a couple of minutes later, I get a text message from Steez, bro. Yo, this girl look good. I'm like, bro, what the hell are you talking about? Bro, shut up. This girl look good. Shit. I'm like, and it's the same girl that I saw mm. on the story. So I'm like, you know what? I, I do it, you know. Yeah. Look, man. Come to find out, the Steve's went to go pick up his girl. And then the other girl saw Steve's and she was like, oh, your, your man look good. He got any friends? Look, bro. If a girl's asking, if, if yo, if, if. Why you clap? Yeah. Look, if a girl asks, if if a nigga got friends, bro, red flag. I'm telling you that right now. That's a red flag. But explain that for the audience out there. Because I don't understand that. What if you're a good man? I am a good man. But that doesn't guarantee that she's a good woman. Mm. Happy National One. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cut through all the fluff. Look, long story short, for this beginning part, we go on a date, we have a great time, we bonding, laughing, joking, eating. At the end of the night, I get some, you know. Hold up, hold up. What did she pick you up? She picked me up, bro. First date, girl. And j- what was she driving? We ain't gonna get into all that, but <laughs> it was a Mercedes Benz. I know it's a Mercedes Benz. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it wasn't no Mercedes, but a little hoop D, but you know, she had got into an accident, you know, you, you get into an accident, you get a little hoop D after, but. <sighs> she was driving a Nissan Altima, it's okay, I know. <laughs> the girls with the Nissan Altima, they got the firebox, bro. Nah, it wasn't no Nissan Altima, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what kind of car it was, bro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, so I start, I start, just started liking her a little bit, but I'm not going to lie. After that date, mm-hmm. I kind of started losing interest. You know, as a nigga. You didn't have no chase. The thrill of the chase, bro. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that is true. That is the true. The thrill of the Once chase. Once you give it up, it's like. Pfft. What's next? You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't do that with all girls. Shut up back there. 
<laughs> I play. But I don't do that with all girls, but sometimes the thrill of the chase is just, it's just not there, bro. So, I don't know, bro. Y'all boys tripping. If I fuck first date, bro, I'm t- going on a second. I'm going to fuck again. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? Like, y'all no, boy. I had to double it. <laughs> you know, I, to... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I dove in one more time. But, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I lost interest, but we kept talking and we made because okay, this happened in November. Yeah. So I was doing no nut November, and look, all right, chill, chill, chill. Look, look, bro, chill, look, 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 chill, bro, no, chill off me, chill. I was doing no nut November, and I was um, taking a break from drinking. Cause I'm, you know, trying to get my body right. You know, no being in the gym. Did what I'm saying. Got my ass back. Got got a haircut now. Did what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so we made a plan to go up to her crib in December. So what she said? West Palm Beach. Mm. We drove up. It, it's me, Steez, and his girl. Mm. The three of us. We drove up. That's very important for the story. We drove up an hour and a half, bro. Ooh. To her crib. The playlist had to be hit. I know that coochie was fire, bro. I know it had to be to drive that hour. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to drive that hour for some back coochie. Cause you're sad. That's what it is. What, bro? It's okay, Joe. It's okay. <laughs> We're here for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Look, we drive up, and this is what I had to tell y'all, bro. That was going to be the day I decided if I t- continued talking to her or not. Mm. And by the end of the story, you're going to see why I stopped talking to her. Okay, so now let's get into it. We go to her crib. Mm-hmm. We chilling. Yeah. She buy chicken. She buy the Hennessy. You know, anything could happen. This nigga started drinking. Mind you, I ain't drinking over a month, bro. Mm. Nigga started drinking. Mm. But I ain't drink too much because I was trying to keep my composure. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? So it comes to a point where, okay, she has a backyard area, and there's a hammock there. Steve and his girl go to the hammock outside. They they swinging on the hammock. Me and the girl, we go upstairs. You know, a more chilling. stable environment. Not you a know, hammock, not swinging you know, we we go upstairs. We talking, vibing. I'm keeping it PG, but we vibing. <laughs> <laughs> we start <laughs> we start vibing. Okay. So I hear the, the glass sliding door open. Keep in mind, I have very good hearing. Sometimes I hear too much stuff at once and I can't hear anything at all. And sometimes I could have pinpoint accuracy on what I'm listening to. So this time I heard the sliding door open and she heard it too. So we stopped what we was doing and she we went. Squeaky as fuck. No, nah, it, sque- it wasn't even squeaky. So, um, you, know, you know, you open the sliding door, it made that yeah. sound. Or sometimes you could just feel the presence of something moving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I was doing some moving too, but we, we <laughs> <laughs> But look, we both hear the side no open. She was like, mm, "We should stop." And so, okay, I'm like, you know, she said we can stop. Shit, I would have kept fucking while I was looking. Up. <laughs> <What's that over laughs> <there? laughs> but we went back downstairs. I ordered some more food. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to do my thing. You dig what I'm saying? I'm yeah, trying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. Facilitate the situation. Alpha male mentality. Alpha male. Mm-hmm. Okay. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Free Andrew Tate. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that nigga locked up. <laughs> Hell no. But look, I order food. We drinking some more, playing games. We playing truth or dare. I dare her to give me a lap dance. Give me a lap dance. You dare that ass. What else would you dare to do? <laughs> Fuck you gonna do? Read a book? So <laughs> look, it comes to a point of the night. Steve and his girl go back outside. And me and the girl, we go back upstairs. Mm. So look, man, we start getting busy. We vibing. We vibing. But look, I still had all my clothes on. But we vibing. We doing a little something, something. I still had all my clothes on. Keep that in mind. So it comes to a point. <laughs> Wait, so y'all dry humping? No, no, no. Nigga, nah. nigga, nigga pulled it out to the, the nah, nigga, nah, nah. <laughs> nigga pulled it out to the <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I was a basket man at the time. That would have been <laughs> painful, oh <my> girl. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, we vibing upstairs. I still got all my clothes on. I'm making her feel good. Nah, that's all I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. So I hear the door open again. 
But something felt different this time. What's I up? told y'all we upstairs, right? So I hear footsteps coming upstairs, like aggressively. Right. And then I hear on the door? On the door, bro. Oh fuck. I hear, hey, open the door. Who you in there with? It don't sound like Steve's, huh? It's not <laughs> Steve. <laughs> but I heard, I heard the voice. Look, I heard the voice. I'm like, that's not Steve's. A little, bro. a little more active. The active this way. Though. I'm like, that's not Steve's, bro. And he not he banging he banging on the door, bro. Damn, bro. I said, bro, who is? Look, I sit up on the bed like this. I'm like, bro. Who <laughs> so you stop, so you stop fucking his ear. You look at me like this. So you the fuck at the door. No, bro. I'm like, I'm like, yo, who is that, bro? I'm still laying on the. I, I, I didn't sit up yet. I'm still laying on the bed like this. I'm like. I'm like this. Nigga she get like up. A bad bitch in the bed. She get up. She go to the door, bro. I kid you not. You ever seen a video where the SWAT team busts down the door? Yeah, oh, bro. This nigga kicked down the door. FBI, we got him. This nigga, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga kicked down the door like the FBI. I swear, I saw a piece of the door fly from the door frame, hit the wall, and then hit the floor, bro. I'm looking at the piece of the door frame like, damn, damn, bro. <laughs> this my life right now. <laughs> so look. I'm a little, we was drinking, so I'm a little, I, to this day, I cannot remember what the dude looked like, and he was standing right here in my face. Damn. Mm. We're going to get into that as well. Why he's standing, he was, so close? I don't know, bro. Uh, you, you gonna, you, he was trying to smell a pussy on his breath. <laughs> <laughs> bro. I know you was in here eating coochie, nigga. You're not fooling me with your zipped up pants. <laughs> bro, this nigga bust down the door like a SWAT team. And this nigga already had his phone in his hand recording, bro. Oh, he was like, you cheating on me again? We were supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> again! Again! It's like, nigga, that's the second time you done broke that door this month. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, damn, nigga, again? <laughs> He's like, you cheating on me again? We were supposed to go out of town. We were supposed to go to Jamaica. That's why you killed my baby? I'm like, Whoa! I, I'm not gonna lie. You that nigga, though. <laughs> you that nigga. You that nigga. You that nigga. You that nigga. I'm so not. I want to start looking at but You killed the baby. <laughs> Damn, bitch! What's wrong with you? What's wrong? No, I'm on the What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, bro. he bought the tickets to Jamaica already. <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is, bro? I asked him before this, before this whole thing, before we was having a conversation. I said, I was like, you ever had a pregnancy scare before? That bitch lied, bro. It wasn't a pregnancy scare. She knew she was pregnant. pregnant. (laughs) (laughs) The baby was coming. (laughs) You know, now that I think about it, bro, she ain't lie. It wasn't a scare. It was a real (laughs) thing. (laughs) Bro, so this nigga bust down the door. He come in. He recording. He saying all that rah, rah, bro. Bro, he walked in. Her panties was on the floor, bro. He picked picked them up. He's like, yo, look. Your panties on the floor. Your panties off. You cheating on me again, bro. I was just putting on new ones. Bro, this nigga... Pushed her with the with the power of of Kratos. Then they said, "Boom!" Look, bro. How far she flew back? Like she ain't fall. She ain't fly back that far. I was about to say that, like her hands, <laughs> <laughs> and her feet go out the air. Like, she look like one of these, like bro. Kanye West in the knock you down video. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, nah, he ain't push her that hard. But, bro, that's going on, bro. Look, I got up. I walk past him. I go downstairs. It's a whole commotion. Cause look. If Steve's was here, we would have been switching out through the, throughout this story like 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 GTA characters. That's how much stuff is in the story. Cause Steve's was downstairs with his girl. Yeah. And they was getting busy, bro. Yeah. But the nigga walked in on them and they was outside. Mm. Yeah, bro. Uh, so crazy. you already stopped one nigga from getting some. Yeah. And that's not even his bitch. That's but crazy. the crazy thing, bro, I thank God that we got out safely, cause. We all could have died. Because I'm day. saying, you just, he just let you walk right past. I'm like, no, he bro. Nothing. He thought Steve's girl was his girl. So if this nigga had a weapon, it would have ended badly, bro. Ooh. I'm saying. I ain't going to lie, though. What would you have you done? What would I personally have done? Yeah, what would you if done? I was in this situation, I ain't going to lie. I would have just instantly start being on the nigga side and be like, damn, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> why are you cheating on this good man? I Hell bet he pay rent in this bitch too, huh? Bro, he probably did. I ain't even gonna care. Nah, he ain't paying no goddamn rent. <laughs> Look, I go downstairs and I'm like, I'm patting my pockets. I'm like, damn. Nigga left the keys. 
I left all my stuff upstairs. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nigga was having but a good old time. Before I went up there, I hear rumbling, bro. I ain't going to cap. I walked back up. I grabbed my stuff and I left. I got out of there, bro. Shorty followed us outside, cuz. I ain't gonna lie, nigga like me would have called the police. Police? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. That one of her neighbors was outside too. She was like, he was gonna call the police. So we had to shake out of there. But before that, the nigga, nigga was going crazy outside, bro. But the thing is, I was standing like this close to the nigga's face. This nigga said to me, bro, I ain't even trying to fight you, bro. But look. This is what I said. Fight the last was, like, was, he big, was he a bigger dude? Was he bigger than you? He was like your size. I would have beat that nigga ass, bro. And he would have got jumped. You just said he would have beat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm talking to you niggas. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I'm provoking. <laughs> but look, bro, this nigga said, I ain't even trying to fight you, bro. I, bro, I ain't mean to say it like this, but I was, I was, I was off that Hennessy, bro. Yeah. I said, I just looked that nigga in his eyes. I said, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. This is not what you want. <laughs> Yo, imagine you, your bitches get. Oh my God, dog. bro! I, I ain't gonna lie, but if I had, if I was a nigga at that time, panties on the floor. No, no, no. If I had, and you said that shit to me, I'm instantly smacking the shit out you, right? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like I don't care if that's a sneak dish. Like I'm pulling up 360 spin, <laughs> <laughs> giving him a pimp slap. What the fuck? Because there should be no like. You really gonna say that to me after you fuck my bitch? Mm-mm. I in uh, my home. And then he had the nerve to still put his hands on the girl. Yeah, he kind of. I ain't gonna lie. He kind of a bitch though. I ain't gonna. Lie. He was a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he was a bitch, but at the same time, though. <laughs> hey man, that was a great story, bro. That shit was funny as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I thought had me thinking to myself. Bro, you know she texted me the other day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the funny part of the story when you get the text after, like a few months later after the situation happened. What she do, bro? Bro, I see. I, I was seeing what she wanted. It was some bull crap talking about some. Hey, just reaching out. I was like, bitch, she trying to fuck. You better go <laughs> just reaching out. You better go reach out to that nigga. What is wrong with you? Oh, that nigga reached out to the Lord. <laughs> oh. So many red flags, man. So many, bro. It was one time we was we was doing the thing, bro. This this girl. Talking about it's, it's mine. I'm like, bitch, what's wrong with you? She just freaky deaky, cuz. So, that, and that's crazy. Cause given got, the situation so that if happened. I got, if it's mine, I could sell it, right? Bro, this nigga's about to get. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right Tate. God. Yeah. Hey, man. If you watch this episode and you enjoy what you see, most definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell us what you've done in this situation. Don't forget to follow, subscribe to King Infinity on his channel. Uh, what's the, you know, shout you out, man. Look, out. man, I have two channels. One is King Infinity, and the second one is KI Tries. But look, make sure you comment down below your favorite part of this story. You drop a like, and you follow all the social media in the description. Look, man, that was a that was a hell of a situation, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Telling that story again, <laughs> it brought back some some flashbacks, bro. <laughs> I I ain't gonna I, I ain't gonna cap. I was a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 imagine, like, like low-key, like, imagine if you, he whipped it out through the zipper. Mm-hmm. And nigga walk in. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yo, I wasn't doing that either. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would have had to walk out with my wiener out. But, <laughs> <laughs> but look, guys, moral yeah. of the story, if something Trial. seems too you good to be true, yeah. nine times out of ten, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super. What's up, yeah. Just got off the phone with 36 Said I'ma call him Ned Cause he the beast Watching us run circles around him Made their heads spin like a frisbee Yeah I'm hot dog Keep my bread on me And my glizzy I know bro bro on probation But I'm still gonna keep it with me